Hey everybody, welcome to Young Money Investments. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about how I was able to grow Young Money Investments from a very small, no-name channel to a channel that is really starting to get a lot of traction. The first thing I wanna do is thank all of you subscribers out there that have already clicked the like button, hit that subscribe button, because that is the reason that this channel is what it is today. I'm so grateful for that. But today I wanna to talk about how those of you that are out there trying to grow a YouTube channel and make it into something, how I was able to do it and the process and the history that went behind that. Today I have five tips. You're gonna to wanna to stay around, watch all the video, learn about my five tips to grow your YouTube channel, to monetize your channel, and also find out some of the mess ups that I had along the way. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so pulling up the analytics here on Young Money Investments, my goal has always been to be as honest, forthright, and transparent with my subscribers as possible. So that is kind of a shout out to you guys. This video is for you. I want you to see kind of what is going on and what it took to get the channel to where it's at. As you can see, this channel, if you look on a 365 day chart, it really was not doing anything as of probably December-ish, you know, December, October-ish, November-ish. I would say really it was December that the channel started to take off. One of the key things that I've seen that has helped this channel grow is making consistent videos. That's gonna be one of my very um, first tips if you are trying to grow a YouTube channel and get your CPM up, get your revenue going, you have to be consistent in making, in making videos. If you don't, you're not going to be in favor with the YouTube algorithms and your videos aren't gonna do that well. One of the things you'll notice with my channelytics or my analytics here, I call them channelytics, I think that's what they're called, um, is that I started to be very consistent and that is when I had my first viral video on my loss on BPTH. So that video garnished roughly about 40,000 minutes worth of video or worth of playback time. Um, and that bumped me into a whole new echelon of playbacks. You'll notice here, now my lows were going down in like the high hundreds, low 200s, right? Whereas before I was down here at like 6, 18, you know, I started to get some traction here at 200 to 300 views. And then it came back down and it sat nearly right around 100. Now we're starting to get up here where we're in the 200s, 150s to 200 plus. Then you see when I finally had another set of viral videos where, or viral video where it has just continued to put this channel in a complete and different echelon. Now that is where the revenue really actually started to come into play. Again, I have not had this channel monetized for very long. It started on May 8th to be exact. And the channel overall has made about $301.43. If you go to the analytics on here, I think one of the big things before we click on that is that the subscriber base has really started to grow after having this, these viral videos. First viral video, like I said, was the $12,000 loss on BPTH. The second one now has been why you lose money while using Robinhood. These are relevant topics. These are topics that people were interested at the current time. So as you can see, that really is what helped boost me into a whole new category and made it so that I was able to qualify for monetization. Now, the two things that you're going to need if you're getting monetized is you need to have a thousand subscribers currently as of June 5th, 2019, and you also need 4,000 hours of playback video from people that are watching your channel channel within a calendar year. Now you might say that's really hard. Unfortunately, I was able to have a couple viral videos that pushed me over that edge. But yeah, you have to make consistent videos in order to get to that point. As we take a look here at the estimated revenue on the channel, you'll see that again, I'm averaging roughly as we zoom in a little bit more on the past month, I'm averaging somewhere probably right around, I'd say 10 to $15 max. Yes, we've had some days at seven, um, you know, 761, top day was 1564. So it's it has been pretty consistent. Um, what I have seen and what has kept this revenue going has still been my viral video. And not everyone is gonna have a viral video. I'm 100% aware of that. And there might be someone in the comment section that's gonna go, well, Cameron, I see that you don't have a consistent stream. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But the way that I was able to get to that point where Robin Hood was able to actually do so well was by putting out consistent videos, making usually about three videos every week. And the way that I've been able to do that, because I am busy, I do have a full-time job. I actually have about three full-time jobs is what it feels like. Um, 
The way I was able to do that is by having videographers, and we'll get into that in just a second. Taking a look at the revenue stream, it is done pretty well. Like I said, no complaints, no issues here. So if we do end up going to the tab up here where it says earn revenue, you are going to be seeing a couple really important things that you as a future YouTuber or YouTuber that wants to get monetized would need to know is you're gonna see your estimated revenue, you're gonna see the estimated monetized playbacks. For me so far, it's been 23,000 views and my average CPM is sitting here right at about $23.07. Now you're probably going, hey, I've seen other YouTube channels, I've seen other, you know, other channels out there, and most people are getting a lower CPM, which stands for clicks per thousand views. And you're gonna go, well, they're getting less money per thousand views, why are you getting so much? The reason is because this is a financial education channel. Advertisers are willing to pay more money to advertise on my videos as opposed to maybe a funny, silly video like Danny Duncan's. I love Danny Duncan's videos. But hey, the CPM is gonna be lower. So for example, a lot of YouTubers that are doing pranks will maybe have a five to maybe even a $3 CPM. Much, much lower than what I'm getting. Their audience base is much larger because who doesn't like a funny video? Not as many people like financial education videos and watch those, but that is why advertisers see that those clients usually are the ones that are paying for their services, buying their products, and of course, in turn, the ad cost is going to be higher and you as the content creator are gonna make a little bit more money. Next little section here on the earn revenue section, you're going to see that, again, for the month of June, so far in four days I've made $25. Uh, that doesn't include today, that doesn't, so basically that's gonna be four days of, of ad revenue. Well, yeah, four days of ad revenue, three days of ad revenue, I think, kind of technically, because it is 12 o'clock in the morning. Um, but you will see here in May, I made roughly about $275. Source of it mostly was from ad revenue, not premium revenue. Um, and then you're also gonna see a lot of them are skippable ads. You can see all this information here in your channelytics. Um, and again, you're gonna see for my channel, most of my revenue has strictly come from why you lose money with Robinhood. And that's okay, you know, some people, and I think eventually I do not wanna get to the point where it is off of one video. It's gonna take several videos and continue to put out my top quality content. Some of the big recommendations that I'm gonna have for most people are you want to create vibrant thumbnails. You wanna create thumbnails that are interesting. You wanna be fun, you wanna be outgoing, you wanna be moving, you wanna be happy. Create thumbnails that make people want to click on your video and make sure they're clear, make sure it's well lighted. Those things are gonna be super important. Tip number two is going to make videos, of course, about things that you're interested in and topics that you want to talk about. If you're not happy, if you're not passionate about it, you're not gonna really be in the video. With that being said, you also need to mix in there relevant topics that are popular at the current time. BPTH was a stock that had went off and it had hurt a lot of people's accounts. That is what triggered it. It was interesting at the time. And so it popped up, I'm sure, on the feed page and a lot of people are popped up in their recommended videos and that's why they clicked on it. You have to create relevant topics that a lot of people are gonna watch in order to get more people to your channel. At that point, you can talk about whatever you want. You can be your niche, but you have to create other popular content videos or it's gonna be very hard to get to that monetization standpoint. Tip number three, use relevant keywords. Going along with creating videos about relevant current topics, in your description category or in your keyword section, you need to tag those important keywords. Those are really gonna be important, especially if the video goes off and does become viral, that your video is the first one that pops up in that feed. If we simply go on here and take a look for a video on Trade Zero, for example, we'll pull it up right here. If you were to pull up Trade Zero on here, the very first video that pops up is going to be my video on Trade Zero. What broker's better than Robinhood? My review of Trade Zero. I pop up before even Trade Zero itself pops up. That is a huge and important thing when you are tagging videos. In fact, even in Google search, you will see my video pop up before a lot of other people's videos. Another video down here, six things Trade Zero needs to do better. My videos are popping up on here because of the tags and because the video has done well. That is gonna be a very important step as well as you get your channel going and growing. Tip number four, 
don't reinvent the wheel. I know this sounds silly, I know this sounds funny, but watch some of your favorite YouTubers or other YouTubers that are in the same niche or demographic as you and copy some of the things that you like that they do well. Leave out some of the things that you don't like about them and go from there. Make yourself a blend of different YouTubers and pull the good things that they do and use them in your channel. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. That's not gonna be the way that you are going to grow most of the time. You need to reinvent yourself and be different but also, don't be so different that no one's gonna be interested in the videos and the content that you're creating. Tip number five, and this is gonna be dependent upon your financial situation, is find people that are there to help you and that know more than you. I was fortunate enough when I started this channel, I wasn't very good at video editing. I wasn't really great at a lot of thumbnails, and you can see where I switched over and have two of my good friends now, David and Bale, that end up editing and doing all of my YouTube editing work and create my thumbnails for me. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to grow and create this channel and make it what it is today. Now, if you have the time and are available to do that, great, you don't need to pay someone to do that. I pay a decent amount of money to get these videos done and uploaded. I'm negative money, I'm losing money. I've been losing money because the channel barely was just, just monetized. But the reality is, is sometimes you have to spend money to make money. If you're not great at something, hire someone to help you. Do something, you, you know, if you want your channel to grow fast, you have to sometimes put in a little bit of money and put in a little bit of skin in the game. So that's gonna be my recommendation, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Or if you just like, just wanna say thank you, or I don't know, you wanna get mad at me, leave more comments in the comment section. Love talking to you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Talk to you later, bye.